Hello, and welcome back to the Curry Vlog. I'm sure you three hundred three. Today we are going to be talking about the real Bobby Dunbar. Without further ado, let's get right to it. <coughs> In August 1912, the Dunbar family took a fishing trip to Swazi Lake. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. In Saint. Landry Parish, Louisiana. On the trip, four-year-old Bobby Dunbar disappeared. After an eight-month search, investigators found the child matching his description and returned him to his parents. A woman named Julia Allison insisted he was actually her son, as did the handyman who had been caring for him. Some newspapers claimed that the boy was joyfully reunited with his mother and brother, but others insisted he failed to recognize them. After a trial, the boy was awarded to the Dunbars. He spent the rest of his life as Bobby Dunbar. But who was he? In 2004, his granddaughter learned via DNA evidence that her father was not a Dunbar. His identity, his identity and the real Bobby Dunbar's whereabouts remain unknown. If, if this guy was really the Julia's, then she, like, that, I don't know what emotions she would be feeling to lose your son by having the other family say it's theirs. Like, I don't know what anyone would go through by doing that. Like, would there be despair or... And I don't, yeah, back in the 1990, well, 19th century, didn't really have good DNA evidence for stuff to identify DNA like they do nowadays. So there was no way to really tell besides their word. And obviously it wasn't good enough here. And the poor boy was raised as someone who he was not. Next time we will be talking about unsolved mysteries. Was Errol Van Best Jr. the Zodiac Killer? I am she curious about this one myself. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Be sure to give the video a like, comment down below, also hit the subscribe and the bell notification so you'll be aware of new videos. And I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace, love, and fucking mess. Mm, bye guys.